Welcome. We're going to be doing uh, Physics 123, lab number 6, the telescope. This is our telescope here. We've just got two lenses and we're going to be able to magnify um, a distant object with uh, this apparatus. So this is our telescope here. The telescope is made of a, a bigger objective lens and then a smaller eyepiece. And so what happens is we're going to be looking at an object that is on the other side of the walk-in lab here by the window. It's those, uh, I don't know, that, that stick with uh, the spacings. And what we're going to count is our object is like the distance between two of those spacings. They're all 10 centimeters. We'll go and measure to verify, but they're all about 10 centimeters apart. It doesn't matter which one that we're looking at, just whatever's in the telescope, that spacing is our object that we're going to be looking at. And so if we look through the telescope, when it's adjusted correctly, that um, the object, the light from the object is going to come in here. It's far enough away that we can treat it as being at infinity. So the rays are going to be coming in parallel. They're going to go through the objective lens, focus somewhere around here. And then based on the eyepiece, the eyepiece is going to function as a magnifying glass because as we, it's going to form a virtual image here, or sorry, a real image here. And we're going to be able to look at the light coming from that image through this it'll kind of collimate it back and so then we'll be able to look through and see a magnified image of our object there which again is just two lines on that vertical board and so the first part of the lab uh, we need to find the focal, focal point of the objective lens here so how we're going to do this is we have just this white screen and we're going to place it on our op optical bench here um, and if you zoom in here we should be able to see um, the lights from the ceiling as well as the window which is right where our object is located and so we just adjust this until it becomes in focus so we can see right now we can see this pretty clearly I go a little bit back okay it went blurry go a little bit further forward okay it gets blurry again so it looks like about right here is where it's in focus and so the light from this window is traveling through the objective lens focusing down right here on the screen and so this distance here between the objective lens and the screen here is going to be the focal length of the objective lens. The nice thing about this bench is that it has um, tick marks which correspond to centimeters. And so if we look here, our objective lens, let me focus it real quick. Um, our objective lens is at about 40 and a half, maybe 48.45 centimeters. And then if we come here, where our real image is formed, um, our, that image is at about 28 and a fourth, it looks like. Get a little bit closer so you can make your own measurement. But we're at about 28 and a fourth centimeters. And so if you subtract those two numbers, it'll give you the focal length of the IP, or sorry, the focal length of the objective. Okay, we're still in part two here of the lab, and we're going to be measuring the distance from the object to our objective lens. I think this is labeled P in your diagram. And so we have just a long cloth tape measure here, which is being held where the image is down there. We pull it tight, and we can see that our objective lens, this is, it's being held at zero at the other end, so our objective lens is at about seven or 69.4 maybe five maybe um this is just in a reminder this is in centimeters so actually we're at 13 meters plus 69.5 so really we're at 13.695 meters is our p distance the distance from the object down to the lens what we'll do now is walk over to the object and verify that the um, spacing between the lines, which is what we're interested in, is about 10 centimeters. So, let's see, the window's kind of washing out, that's better. So that's the zero point, and then we go down here, and oh, it actually looks exactly 10 centimeters. So, that's what you're going to want to record for your image height, um, or sorry, for your object height which is this distance here, and that is 10 centimeters. So I'll go ahead and record those on your student sheet, and we'll move on to the next part. Okay, so we're now in part, um, part four of the lab, which we're going to remove the screen. So now we can't see the image, but it's still there. I can put the screen back. It's still there. It's this real image here. 
and the light coming through here is focusing down and then coming back out, right? And so if we move this, the eyepiece, it's going to basically take that diverging light from the real image and then change it to be parallel. And so then we can look through and see the image. And so I just have to adjust this until the image shows up, which I don't know exactly where it's going to be, but I'm just going to keep adjusting. Okay. Now we can see it's in focus. So that our object, the board with the stripes, is in focus here. And we're going to try to show it through the camera. It might be hard to see, but... Might be too much light. Oh, there we go. There we go. So, it's, it looks a little bit less blurry in person, but you can definitely see that there is an image, and um, it's definitely magnified from what we would see if we just looked at it without the telescope. Um, and so that's kind of the miracle of this. Um, now this eyepiece, um, we're not gonna, the lab sheet talks about using it to experiment with different things. Um, it's a little too hard to see in the camera. Um, but like I said, it just acts like a magnifying glass. If I were to remove it and then look at like the words, if I hold it at the right length where the words are at the focal length of the eyepiece, um, then it'll be magnified and I'll be able to see a clear image. If not, it's just going to be blurry. And so that's the way that it functions exactly like a magnifying glass is that um, when an object is held at the focal length of it, um, it'll magnify it um, for us and increase angular size. And so um, as we move on here, we're going to want to measure the distance between this and the focal length, which on your sheet is labeled uh, Q or, or sorry, FE. We already know Q, that is the focal length of the eyepiece. Um, and that was in the first part that we did, measured that. So now we just need to know FE, the focal length of the eyepiece, which, you know, we could insert the screen back here where it was and see the image and it's gonna be that distance there. You should have already recorded on your paper um, the measurement, the centimeter mark where this image was. Um, if not, go back and rewatch. But if we come over here and just look at the centimeter mark where the eyepiece is, we can just subtract that number from um, the mark where the uh, focus is, where the real image is. Um, and that'll give us our focal length of the eyepiece, F sub E. Okay, what we have here is a uh, microscope slide and we can see it has these really tiny lines and each line is separated by 0.1 millimeter, okay? And if you, we zoom out here, we can see that this is just, um, it's just in a holder that we can mount onto the, the optical bench. And then what we're gonna do is put this slide in here and then adjust it until it becomes in focus through the lens, and it's only gonna be in focus if it's at the focal length of the eyepiece here. And that's what we just measured um, using the screen. And so once it's at that length, um, once it's at that length, we're gonna see the little tick marks on the microscope slide overlaid over our image of, um, of the red and white striped board. And so once both of those are in focus together, we know that it must be overlaid over the real image here and then we can use those tick marks to measure the actual size in millimeters of the image. And so once we find that, we can find the angular size of the image um, and then find the magnification from that. And so um, we're gonna show you what it looks like in a second um, as, we get it, uh, as we get it adjusted. Now one thing to note in your lab sheet, it talks about how this microscope slide is actually 17 millimeters from the center where you would actually measure it from. So in the lab, it talks about measuring the focal length of the eyepiece by using the microscope slide. We could do that, um, but we just use, we just measured that distance with the, the white screen when it was inserted in here. And so you can just take that measurement and use it for your eyepiece. It's F sub E, the focal length of the eyepiece. We don't need to remeasure uh, with the microscope slide. But let's go ahead and get it adjusted here. And so we can sort of see um, these uh, tick marks, which are each division is 0.1 millimeter. And um, it's going to be too hard to see on the camera, so I'll just read it to you. Um, but 
what we can do is look through here and count the tick marks over two of the adjacent lines and we find that it is let's see here there's 10 about 13. so again each division is 0.1 millimeters and so that means our image height here which i believe is labeled h prime h prime is going to be 1.3 millimeters